The word prestidigitation literally means fast finger action. In other words, the hand is quicker than the eye. Now, my special guest this evening is a man who actually devised and refined many of the current techniques used in this form of magic. It is a great pleasure for me to introduce my very good friend and a living legend in the world of sleight of hand, the magician's magician, Mr. Di Vernon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, no youngster. I'm 78 years of age, and I've been studying magic for over 72 years. I wasted the first six years of my life. <laughs> but I'm going to do a few very simple things for you. This is one of the most... This is the oldest trick in recorded history. It dates back to ancient Egypt. Now, these are sterling silver cups, and the only <coughs> peculiar thing about them is that one will pass through the other. And if you measure, measure the inside measurement... You see, they're deeper on the inside than they are on the outside. I explain everything as I go along. You can't go wrong. <laughs> now, in the old days, they used to judge a magician's skill by how well he did this trick. But they used to work at a very rapid rate of speed. Now, I'm going to do everything in slow motion so you can see exactly how it's done. And if you don't understand, I'll explain it a little later. This is ball number one. Ball number two. You know, every time I do this, people are suspicious. They think the ball is not actually in the hand. It really is there. It's all in the power of the mystic wand. When you spin the wand, the ball always returns to its little home again underneath the cup. Now, perhaps I worked a little too quickly. That's very kind, but if you just nod your head, that'll be all that's sufficient. Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> I'm going to show you that this is real Egyptian magic, not sleight of hand. As I say, they used to work very rapidly, but I'm going to do this slowly. Now, I'd like, young lady, one of you, will you point, which cup would you like? Which one of the cups? The center one? Very well. Now, watch. I'll take the ball from the center cup. I know you don't believe this, but I'll put it on this side or this side. Which side? Which side would you like it? Over here? All right. Now, watch. That's all. You see, I took it from the one that you asked me to. And I put it right over here on the side you asked. Now, of course, if you'd asked me to place it on the other side, I'd have had to do it left-handed. You have to be ambidextrous to do this. You see, it would leave there and come over there. Now, <laughs> I'll explain this a moment later. Now, I'm going to show you how the ball will penetrate the cups very, very, very slowly. Now, I'm going to do this very slowly. Now, watch this as closely as you can. I'll put the last ball here. You see, they all collect together. Now, I'm going to show you how it'll penetrate two cups at once. You see, that goes through two at once. The cups are porous. And that one fell off. Now, I'll, in the last ball, I don't want you to think it's already there. There are just two balls and two cups. Watch the last one. Oh, you see all three balls. <laughs> now, you don't have to applaud. <laughs> now, I'm going to make one more maneuver with these little balls, then I'm going to show you exactly how this old swindle is performed. Now, do this very slowly. This is the last move. Ball number one. Ball number two. And ball number three. Jump. You see, they jump to the center cup. Now, the reason this is confusing, because there's too much to watch, too much going on at the same time. I have three balls, three cups, the wand, and I talk all at the same time. Makes it very confusing. So I'm going to do it so simply that any small child could understand it. I'll stand up so I'll do it as slowly as possible. I'm going to put the ball on this side back in my pocket. And I'll put this one back in my pocket, leaving one ball under the center cup. But you see, this ball has returned. Now, the reason for that is very simple. I swindle you. See, I pretend to take it in this hand. That's called misdirection. Magicians call that misdirection. See, I only pretend to put it in my pocket. I bring it down with my little finger with the pinky, drop it behind the cup, and it's, see, it's not really there at all. It's behind the cup. But if I actually put it in my pocket, how many under the cup, young lady? How many do you think? That's close. Three. That's right. Three balls. Three balls. One, two, three. Now, if I put all three away and there's still a ball under the center cup, I must use four. 
Well, I'm an honest magician. I do use a fourth one. You see, there's the fourth one. It's a little larger than the others, and there's one here, and there's one over here, and the last one is there. Well, that's how that's done. Now, 